You know, it took me quite a while. But I finally got to the point where no matter where I go, I'm the oldest one there. <laughs> Even if my wife is with me. Uh, that wasn't easy getting there sometimes. Now, last night, I was opening up a can of pop at the kitchen table. Pop, I said. Uh, and you know how them little tabs are? Well, I don't know, you're getting weak. I'm actually falling apart. Uh, this tendon that's supposed to go across the top of your knuckle went down in between. I tell you what, that got your attention so quick. <laughs> now I'm gonna try to play. Uh, if it don't work, well, we'll just won't work. But I think if I don't get on it too heavy, I'll, I'll get it. And by the way, I'm going to be talking with the pastor about my time up here. Uh, I'm serious. I, I'm, uh, it's getting to the point where somebody else can do it. I know. And look, when I retired, well, that was a long time. I can't remember. <laughs> but, but anyway, nobody called me up. I work construction. Nobody called me up and said they needed me. You know, my spot was filled before I got home. So somebody can do it. Okay. This is a uh, the voice of my Savior. I remember one night at an old fashioned meeting. I was praying to God to redeem my poor soul. I heard a sweet voice. And that night to make heaven my home. I knew it must be the voice of my Savior. Say, come on to me and be free evermore. I knew it must be the voice of Thank you.